Let me see if my chat box pulled up here. All right. So today we're talking about what are the three types of self-confidence. Um, I'm very excited about this topic because it's something that I did not know for a long time. And I just assumed it was only one thing. So I'm very excited to share it with you. Okay. Um, but first things first. If you are new here, welcome. Hey, I am Keisha Ellingson, and I help movers move and connect to people in a new place and build their life after a move because it can be like a hard thing to move to where you know nobody, you have no support, and everything is new, and you sometimes don't know where to start, okay? I will lead you through that process. So hello, I'm Keisha. I'm your guide for moving. <laughs> and then if you're catching this video live, if you want to comment, I will pull your comments up on screen when I have time. So let's jump in. Okay. What are the three types of self-confidence? So the first type is what I feel most people wish for. And it's what I used to think was the only type of confidence. And I call this like all these types are my wording. Okay. I call this swagger confidence. It's the confidence of totally rocking it. You know, all the answers, you can predict what's going to come and it's like you're walking in swagger, like you have got this, okay? So that's the confidence you get from doing something over and over again. Like you, when you really, really know a subject or you've done something before, um, for instance, for moving, if you've moved over and over and over again, eventually you will develop a swagger confidence in moving. But guess what? You don't need that kind of confidence to make your first move, okay? So the second kind of self-confidence um, is what I call it is, is I can figure this out. Confidence is where you've been in a situation like it before. And although this new situation is different, you're like, well, if I figured out this kind of situation, then I, I can probably figure out this situ situation over here. So it's like a, it's, I don't, like it's, you can pull some of the resources that you know that you already have into your new situation. So you feel a little bit more comfortable. Then here's the third type of self-confidence. Okay. This is the puke zone confidence. Okay. Where the thought of doing the thing, whatever the big thing is, if it's making like a big move or restarting your life after a move, um, it actually makes you sick. Like thinking about it. Um, it makes you feel like you have to puke and, the reason why it does that is because it's so far out of your comfort zone or yeah, it's like, it just makes you uncomfortable <laughs> thinking about it. Um, but you have the confidence to say yes to that puke zone thing because you've been doing the baby steps to get towards the puke zone confidence. Okay. So, but also when you're come up against this puke zone confidence, remember that there's going to be a voice in your head that's going to say, run, like, run, this thing is scary. We've never, like, <laughs> we've never actually done this thing. Like, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. I came up against a puke zone confidence today. And my first thought was like, nope, nope, nope. Like, I want that. But yes, I want that. But no, I don't want to do it. Right. <laughs> so, um, so you're, just know that in your head, you might have a voice saying like, ah, this is scary. Like we don't want to do it, but you can be prepared to say yes anyways, because you have done the baby steps to get to that spot. Okay. So, um, all of these confidence works, all of these steps of confidence work together. Okay. So picture your comfort zone, like a big old circle. Okay. Typically, we like to stand in the center of our comfort zone, like right here, where we are most comfortable in life, and we can predict all that comes, and we like our solid routine and all the things. So what you what to start doing is taking these little baby steps in preparation, and as you prepare for this big new thing, you're taking steps out to the edge of your comfort zone of where you are. So you're packing and you're preparing and you're making plans for this big move. Pretty soon you're at the edge of your comfort zone. Okay. So the baby step leads to the puke zone. Okay. And that's where you're like, I have confidence in every little baby step that I've done. I have confidence in preparing. I've prepared for this. So now I am stepping into 
the puke zone. You're stepping into your puke zone confidence. Um, so this is a base layer, okay? Your puke zone. And then once you have stepped into that and you've experienced this new level of confidence, you've done it before, right? So then you can build an I can figure this out confidence. It's right on top. It's like a little pyramid here. And, and after you've maybe moved twice or three times and you've figured it out, then you step into this swagger confidence level. And that's the level I feel like most of us want to be at, but you don't need that swagger level of confidence to start making those progress steps in your life, right? Um, here's a tip. Before confidence comes courage, okay? So you don't need to feel 100% confident in order to start taking steps towards something that you want. You can actually do it when you're really scared and just say, okay, I'm scared, but I know this is the direction I'm, I'm going to go, or I know this is the direction that God wants me to go right now, and just start taking those baby steps. Encourage, right? So um, if that's your goal to take baby steps towards moving, or if you just want to guide in this moving journey and the process of setting up like after a move, Homesick to Happy Movers Facebook group is the place where you're going to find lots of support and resources. And you can ask any questions you want in the group. Just come and um, ask, ask your questions, jump to the guide section. And if you're really feeling this video, you're like, oh my gosh, this is me. Like this is super helpful, then jump in. And if not, that's okay too. Don't. It's it's up to you. You do you, right? But my words of encouragement for you today are if you want that swag or confidence, start by making baby steps towards your goal. And then you just keep on going, right? Keep on going until you're at the level that you want to be at. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, it's, it's a good Monday. It, yesterday was super warm out. So I'm very happy, <laughs> like we got some sun and stuff, um, and it's back to being a little bit cold, but that's okay. I still appreciate the sun from yesterday. So hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.